everyone, this is Sarabjit again. Uh, you may be watching this in the Business Analyst and Scrum Master Facebook group or YouTube channel. Um, I've created or am creating or in the process of creating series of videos for you guys if you're starting a new role as a business analyst from master product owner. And so today's tip, uh, tip number 14 is um, when you're starting out um, in most of these roles, right, business analysts from master product owner are related to building IT systems. Uh, there are many industries they may, that may be using these roles, but for majority of what I teach and what I know and what I am an expert in are IT systems. So um, when we're working in these capacities or in these roles on IT systems, when you're very, very new or you know, in your first few weeks, it becomes really hard to understand the systems that you're working on. So this tip will help you get acquainted and understand the systems that you're working on. And the tip is to get access to your UAT or testing environment, right? Because we're working on IT systems. As we know, IT systems all work and, um, you know, they're, they're three in three different environments. They're in the dev environment. That's where development takes place, right? That's where our programmers or developers are coding. Then there is a test environment. This is where all the testing takes place. And then there's a production environment. That's where the final output of our systems or IT um, products um, end up for our customers. So the middle environment is our testing environment. And that is generally used by QA folks. That's where UAT is done. And so if you're new to an organization and you're working on systems that um, are not brand new and you know there's obviously you know things that you can play around with ask your developers ask your manager ask your QA folks um, ask anybody that will listen to you and say hey I'd love to play around with this can I please get access to the UAT environment right what that will do is it will put you in an environment where you can play around with the system and the better thing is you can even look at past test scripts for the system that have already been executed and follow those to learn what you know the system should be doing. And this, if you play around with, you know, in the UAT environment, will give you the best learning experience on the systems that you're trying to build or a prior version of that. So once you start playing around and interacting with the system and the test environments, you'll better, you'll have a better understanding to understand the requirements and the conversations that are happening in those meetings. Um, so that's my tip. Do whatever you can to get access to the UAT or test environments so you can start playing around and getting yourself acquainted with the systems that you are now going to be supporting and building. All right. And that was my tip for today. I hope you guys find this helpful. Um, if you haven't already on YouTube, like and subscribe and share this content so we can make sure that more and more and more people are successful in these roles. Thank you again. Bye.